pass to Anderson, but for missed darts at double and played well, but was just beaten by a, a man inspired against Clayton. Tops left, he's miscounted again and he's gone for 32. 42. Well, I was giving Jose de Souza the benefit of the doubt just minutes ago, saying it's not his counting, he can count. He just can't concentrate. Well, I'm sorry. I was wrong. I think it's all about focus, isn't it? As you say, concentration. There shouldn't be too much damage. Nathan, Nathan found it all very funny. Will it be a case of all's well that ends well? Against Johnny Clayton last night, Jose made an error on 70, busted, and with that, he lost five of the next six legs. Sometimes you get caught out. 139. And at this Let's level, see. you don't get a chance to redeem yourself. Is he going to get away with it? The answer Let's is score. probably no. Uh, I'm pretty sure when he was nigh on 200 points behind, Nathan didn't expect this. What a leg to win! What a leg to lose! He hit six perfect stars! I like that. I like that a lot. The thing what it does, Stuart, is that a player that is that far behind will never give up against Jose D'Souza in any leg, knowing that he's capable of that. Is it 3-1-80s in, in three scoring visits? It's ridiculous. One minute, 21. You wouldn't give him another chance. You failed him. He's failed the exam. You put a red mark across his butt against his paper. To the second consecutive leg, is it six perfect darts? It's one, then it's a four, and it's a one, Jose. Oh, stop it now. 60. 57. Double 12. Jose D'Souza, after not knowing. What to go for in the previous leg? Bangs in a nine data for the second night running. It was Clayton last evening. Now it's Jose de Souza. In the first leg, he missed the 141 for a nine. In this leg, he makes no mistakes. Perfection! Portuguese perfection! 54. Looking for an 11 or 12 dart leg, but he will return. What kind of pressure is he going to be under? 60. Some. Nathan, you require 40. 3 3. Game shot on the sixth leg. Yeah, he used that dart well, didn't he? Aim for the marker dart, got his reward. Yeah, we saw it earlier, didn't we, from Dimitri Vandenberg. Just kind of move over a bit, and all of a sudden it becomes crucial for him. I do like the way that Nathan throws so aggressively. Tries to give the dart no option but to fly from A to B straight as a dart. What a setup from Jose de Souza. The special one pulled out a special one there. Ninety-seven. Well, Jose resisted the temptation to go for the maximum, to leave double five. Yeah. That's why. It's a big break of throw for Jose de Souza, and he is throwing for at least a point. His favourite to get both. That's it, didn't he? 
Really did attack it. De Souza comes back. Looking at double 18 for at least a point. So yep. Hasn't won a game in the Premier League so far. This is night four. He'd be looking to put that right tonight. First off, you've got to get to six. Oh, dear. Edgy. Nathan, you require 16. Four darts missed. And he won't get another chance to the ball. Sneaks it in. Hits the double. Pitches the leg. Five, five, four. <laughs> oh, ludicrous from... Oh, hang on. on. Is it going to equal the record? There it is, 11, 180s for Jose de Souza. A bit of history for the Portuguese of a night. He nailed the nine. A record that has not been matched since 2011. It stood the test of time for 10 years. Incredible, treble 20 hitting. He has the chance. Take the record. Eighty-one. The Lord is interested in is getting this leg and then winning the last to win both points. That's the point wrapped up. Wager <laughs> you fancy Nathan. Fifty-one or bullseye pal. So, 51. for both points, 90. So you require 90. Yeah, there's the disappointment. And we're going to see the joy with a dart at the ball. 65. Nathan, you require 40. What a brilliant point this would be. He's just been loitering around, yeah, being an absolute pest. And Nathan Espinel has proven once again he is so, so tough to beat. But that game really was about the... But it tells you how hard it is to make it, Stuart, because there's another one and another one. Where do you think they go? Yeah. Because there's only so much room at the top. <laughs> The ball in with a chance here. 92. Oh, yeah, Take the set. Puts his laughter around top. Yeah. One dart. Yeah, One dart and all it takes. Set. And Willie Ball oh, strikes oh. back. Huge leg of darts for the future of both oh, players oh, in this tournament. So Ballard goes back to back on the 140s now. Well, I agree with you that it is a huge leg, but I, I also think that whoever loses this set oh, will still think that they are capable of winning, that just they got to do a lot more work. There's no lack of confidence on that stage right now. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Willie Ballard. He made an awful start. 140, 140, 136 leaves 40 after 12. And that is magnificent. How about that? What a leg of darts. That's why he's down two sets to one in the leg. Superb. 140. Especially like that first leg of set two, as you keep going back to, as being a pivotal game changer, match changer. At the moment, that may well be the case, but Brooks here, great response. Oh, Borland, yeah. what a shot! It could be a match winner. You talked about pivotal moments. That is simply sensational. Okay, so Brooks is kind of feeling this leg get away from him, and it's feeling like he needs to be emphatic on a scoring visit or Borland oh, will be behind him. Oh, 
21. Yeah, so that big, leaves 130. Yeah, big last start, wasn't it? And that's a break opportunity, and that could be everything. But look at the setup play. He's done he's enough to have a chance if he gets a chance. Well, that was unlucky. Clattered into the barrel, took it into the three, and he needs the ball. Yeah. any world championship it's had it all and it's Borland 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 with another 180 in a deciding leg what a throw yeah you can't make that up oh good covers he's fighting to stay in keep, keep in distance Deciding leg, that's all it is. Pure drama. Pure theatre. Pure darts. Pure darts. Again. Ninety-two. Well, and the way they're scoring, we expect a one forty from Peter. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's poor, John, isn't it? Sixty. Valenia require forty for the lead. Hold of throw, a hold of throw. 20. Right, Peter wants 120 Peter again. Wow. Let's see what he does this time. <laughs> yeah, I, I doubt it's the same. Now we should go ball ball. Yeah, you double bluffed yourself, didn't you, pal? Now that was the time for ball ball. 60. Wow. Wants to work away in a chance. Yeah, Fallon was very good. Right, I've just worked it out. I actually think Peter's got an earpiece in and he's listening to us, John. It's not hard to make me look like a buffoon, but he does a really good job at it. <laughs> well, this is a fantastic visit. He needs every bit of it. 121. Fallon, you require 101. This, though, to go ahead 3 1 and to get the first break of throw of the match. Double 16. Yeah. What an excellent yeah. outshot. What composure. Like I said, some, some throws look quicker than others. Twenty-four. Oh, well, what was an opportunity in this leg is kind of just handed the handed the leg back over to Fallon. Although I don't know what the thought was. Well, Fifty-six. I can't. I, yeah, I don't get it. It's not like it's a finish. One forty with three darts in hand. You stay on the twenties there. Another. <laughs> As along the lines of, I've no idea what's left. Yeah, 68. Yeah, that was fun. 98. Even the very Daniel best can 104. lose it. Careful. Double 16. Well, and, uh, not a very good dart after uh, complimented her, her skills in that particular department. 16, an old friend of Peter's as well, yeah, and he does get it. That's three on the bounce now for Peter Wright. <laughs> First one was so far away. Yeah, he shot at the Waynes, and then he went for the treble 20s. 95. Well, that's unlucky, that. Would have left 170, another 57. Couldn't quite pop it. Tops for 6-4. 75. It was definitely coming round so much to the left on some darts. Uh, I think he's more than happy to leave that target for his next visit. Oh, 
Take the zero out of that 208 to the 28. There's the coming round to the left. And That's a fabulous start from Peter Wright. Right. He goes into the second break. Extravagant hits and dire misses. It is what it is. You know, we're in this position again where we're, we're in a seemingly really significant leg for Fallon to have to hold on and, and not let that gap get too big. Yeah, I think any time that Fallon finds himself too behind, that, that next leg is, is crucial. 145, Fallon, you're 130. Fallon Sherrick looking to move within a leg of the world number two. Oh, wow. Was that the bullseye just below it? Well, I think that was the bullseye. That was indeed the bullseye. So unlucky. So unlucky. But this is where a world number two knows how to capitalize. That's awkward. He moves over to the right to open it up. 68. Failed to get in. 50. 18 for a favorite 32. Emphatic. He's so long at the top of the game, he, you can't make too many mistakes against him. No, you cannot. He is relentless. 39 for 32 now. I think it's also fair to say that Fallon Sherrick has forced Peter Wright to play more like Peter Wright. I was just about to say she's forced him to another level. 140. Maybe she shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, to levels which he didn't know he really had anymore because there's been a lot of questions asked. Tops. And that's going to make him feel very comfortable. How entertained. Have our audience been here tonight and well behaved? Really enjoying this match. And there they all are. With the 180 cards for the 15th 180 of the match. Yeah, they're not getting bored holding them up here. Fatigue setting in with the audience, John. <laughs> I just think they're in awe. You have to be. For an 11. He sussed that side of the board out, right. let me tell you. Both averaging over a ton. How can you not love watching darts, eh? 85. Yeah, and the 11 for Peter, Peter. Peter, I mean, how many have just appeared on the board of late? He's been re racking them up. 50. Well, in your report, 141. Well, more big moments here, really. You don't want to give Peter a shot at 120, and she may not. Double 18. She's annoyed. Visibly annoyed. Peter Frustrated even. Well, she had the 141 against Clemens. To bring that up again. Yep. Yeah, she was thinking of four days ago again. 60. Yeah, there's no ball ball now, is there? Tops. Yeah, that that is stunning leg. from Peter, Peter Wright. Wright. <laughs> I like that thought. I wasn't expecting it, but it's a fun one. <laughs> Just a bit mischievous, of course. Well, that's, I think that's four occasions now that these two have missed the big fish. I wonder if the champagne shot, as Rodri Studd calls it, is going to be poked, and the answer is no. Yeah, well, let's, let's not write off Fallon here yet. Let's, let's remember when she was down we had three legs to one, and she needed four legs on the trot yeah. against Gabriel Clemens, and she managed to get out of that. Double eight, though, to make her life a lot Amy's more difficult. Leg. Peter on. Wright, two legs away from leg. the semis. Balance. Actually, happily set up now. Fr from 210 jump, six starts thrown, leaves 1-3-1. One, one. 100. He did require 131. It's good from Fallon. He's looking for 51, tops, tops. 91. More Valenia huge moments. To pull a break of throw back. To move to 12 legs. 20 for 36. Stunning! The composure! Only 59. Oh, wow. 
to admire that from Peter Wright. When the pressure has been at its greatest on him, he's playing well again. But it won't relent, Shaq will not relent. She refuses to be denied. On three of the last four legs under this oh, pressure, no, 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 Fallon Sherrick. And both players having a pearler of a leg. Got a switch. Should have switched. Oh, wow. That was, a, that was an error. Well, he's 81 after nine, which is a fantastic job. Doesn't have to go for the bullseye. And he won't go for the bullseye. He will not go for the bullseye. No, he will not. <laughs> I assure you. Oh, <laughs> He couldn't help himself. He just couldn't help himself. <laughs> I assure you. Wow. 60. Then you right. 25. Double eight. And John the 28 leg. Peter Wright right. is on the cusp of a place. 29 leg. Fallon. It has. And it is. Fallon is making Peter oh, earn this. Oh, and that 180 may still not be enough. If she can set this up, that 145 will have to go. Well, it could. It, it could, yes. He seems in the mood. 58. In your 145. Only 30. 60. 60. 60. Wow. That would have superseded 80. the 170, John. That would have been even more yeah. incredible. But fortunately, here, Peter still has a reasonably difficult shot. Well, it got a lot easier there. For the match. That is the match. You have just witnessed one. Just missed the odd time as we, yes, only one leg, but that one dart has made the difference between 1-1 one, one and 2-0. 94, get a renew require, 116. Up to the top of the board. He's on the third leg. A 12 darter. Michael to throw first. Of course, there'll be Plenty of twists and turns as this one unfolds. Fifty. Well, surely he's going to get onto the board now, isn't he? But he knows that Price will be on his shirt tail. One hundred and forty, Michael. You require forty tops. Beautifully done. Michael and that'll settle him down. Break at the end of this leg. MBG had absolutely loved to break this throw. Price doesn't look in the mood, does he? 9 to 44. No. I don't think either player has done much wrong. The only thing you could nitpick on is that one dart at the double in leg two. And He's there it the is, break. doubling beautifully, finishing superbly. Well, Jackie mentioned that earlier about the winning the trophy. I said, no, it's winning this match is the important thing from the point of view of both players at this moment in time. Oh, Goodness me, another one. Number four, sixth of the match. That is a response. Tops, tops. What a way to put 80 away. Well, after in lots of different ways, John, not just in terms of this match so far, but in terms of his mental game over the last couple of years where things haven't quite been right. We know that. He can only put it right on the hockey. 
Oh, that's perfection. My view of wire, 40. Thompson to square up the match. And he does for all. This is turning out to be everything that we hoped it would be. Michael responded in that second one. I think, to be fair, overall, the first two sessions shared at five apiece was probably about right. Yep, wouldn't disagree with that. 97. So 1-1-4 one, one, for the holder throw for Van Gerwen. 14 for tops. Well, if, if there's a sense of inevitability about that. When Gary Anderson and Michael Van Gerwen both averaged 110 at the moment, that is, this is going beyond that. Look at that overall average, 114 against 111. And it's the 13th leg of the match. Yes, I remember that game very well. Thinking from Price. Oh my goodness. On the play. Get away Just Price. terrific Play from Price. This is an opportunity. If Van Gerwen can leap all over this, and he does so. 134. He knows the importance of that. 130. A makeable checkout. Yeah, I guess he needs another one here, you feel. Oh, not that one. Michael, you require well, a single 30. 20 would have been okay. Just drifted to the left oh perfect double eight yeah, what about so that 130 triple 20 triple 18 double eight and he just didn't flag, blink ball, an immaculate setup for van gerwin 96 michael you're the crucial point of the match this would put him within a leg of victory now, no talked about tension, is that just a little bit of a sign of precisely two. that? Well, it's not as if they're a long way off, but the bottom line is they missed 9, 7, 8 apiece. Completely different story. He's on the 16th leg. And a great response from Price. It's the break back. Going on a makeable checkout, 89. What a response, though. Superb, right, 89, Alan. Yeah, got to do it. Oh, that is gold dust with the first dart. Just got to keep his composure. Normally pretty good. Oh, 81. this time it's going prices. And a great chance, a great time opportunity here miss. now for Michael Van Gerwen. Double 18. And he takes it. Look what it means. Michael Van Gerwen. Look what it means to Michael Van Gerwen. Play darts at the highest level. Brilliant. 139. On a finish, you might get your bull that you're craving. 170 required. 70. Well, so Price two treble twenties and. Well, Price is on a finish. Not on a finish. So will he go for it? Oh, doesn't have to now. 98. Because <gasps> he needs a 140 to apply the pressure. Oh, it's not coming. He needs to treble badly. 60. Not Michael there. Uruguay, so 72. 72 for the match for Michael Van Gerwen. Treble 16 for double 12. Got it. it. Two darts of double 12. One on the wire. There it is! Michael Van Gerwen has beaten his arch rival who sportingly applauds. Great match, both averaging over 107. Van Guys, take a big lead like we've seen in the previous three matches. 100. John, you require 160. Unplayable. Peter Wright, wasn't he, in the early stages of that last match? Look at this, though. Game oh, from fantastic the for Clayton. Clayton. Round one, 10 5, 97.22 average. Defeated Lewis in the quarters, 10 6. 104.65. Lewis averaged 106.95. Double 18. Games oh, from the three third fantastic leg. finishes, 99, 160, 121, three breaks of throw. 
Here comes Wade. 140. Yeah, brilliant again to leave he that looks 121. Absolutely up for it today, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. 108 and a half. The average of James Wade. 140. James, you require 121. The pattern of this match so far. This goes. Game oh, well. Right the in the middle. 121. 121. 99 for James Wade. Not good enough. Double ten. Thirty-four. A rare slip. Johnny require eighty-one. Double nineteen. The biggest moment to the match, Chris. Yep. Did even look at the treble. Fifty-six. James, you require twenty. Frustration for Clayton. You don't want to give James Wade any more chances than is absolutely necessary. Games and that's why Wade, James Wade has to be pegged back to within just a leg as well. Three on the spin. 110 in front plus these. Yeah. The leg that if he wins, he will go within one. James Wade would look to be running away with it at 7-3. One hundred and thirty-four. Johnny requiring ninety-four. Ah, oh, brilliant double. They double double, 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 double on a hundred. We've done double, double on ninety-four. One hundred and forty. Those players. Still with great averages, both over 102. 100. Johnny require 121. Could have to go. 11 or treble 11. Boom. Games oh. from the 16th <laughs> leg. Well, there you Johnny go. Clayton. One hundred and forty. James, you require one hundred and thirty-six. To win it. To win Fitting. it in style. Ninety-six. To stay in it. What a good game it's Johnny been. requires sixty-two. A thoroughly enjoyable forty, forty-five minutes from Clayton and Wade. But had one dart again. Games oh, on the is all Johnny he Clayton. needs. Now the there. pressure's on way. Of course. Needs to fill it. Has to go. One hundred and eight. Incredible dart from Johnny Clayton. He's got to get a shot at ninety-eight. Just Ninety-seven. Clip that side. triple seventeen to leave the ball. This is not a gimmick. May see another. Oh. Double 19. Magnificent! The 11 darts are from Clayton to force a decider. The last eight legs. Great 140 100. from Wade. Steady turn from Clayton. He'll have to get his abacus out. Well, this will be some win for James Wade. For this throw because he doesn't want a straight turn. Because if Wade wins this, he's winning against somebody who's on ninety percent on the doubles. Be astonishing. This is astonishing. One hundred and forty. Just sliding off the barrel from the treble into the single. Wade needs at least a ton, preferably more. One hundred and forty. What a shot from Wade! What a game and what a final leg. Clayton. Games oh, on what the a match. finish from Johnny, Johnny Clayton. Clayton. What a performance from Johnny Clayton.